What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. And before I get started, if you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to hit to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. All right, so let's get into the content. So for those who don't know, or if you've been living under a rock, uh, Netflix is developing and making a live action Avatar The Last Airbender show based off the cartoon, the legendary cartoon that was on Nickelodeon back back in my day, you know what I mean? And so a bunch of uh, showrunners have came out and, and talked about the show that's coming out and they drop quotes that are not good. I'll be honest with you. They drop the dumbest quotes. I mean, like, what is with people? Like, let's, okay, let's all be honest here. Let's say you was handled this this valuable IP that literally everyone their mom enjoyed making video essays about talking about it's the greatest thing ever, and you come out and say the worst thing possible. The biggest fear of Avatar: The Last Airbender is they're repeating the same steps as they did in the movie. The movie was hot garbage. Okay, if you haven't seen the movie, don't see it. <laughs> There's probably a video on YouTube right now talking about how trash that movie is. Go watch that. Okay, you'll get the gist. Everyone named mom was hyped for that movie when it was coming out. I was like, oh my God, like, like M, I, M. Night Shyamalan is making an Avatar movie. It's kind of a weird choice, but it's a live action uh, Avatar Last Airbender. You have the material there to make one of the greatest um, film sagas of all time. If you just follow the show and just do it beat by beat. And he, what he did, he went off the path, okay? And it was garbage, it was trash. Okay, the CGI was whack too. You had you had five dudes doing stomp the yard to lift up one rock. This is trash. It was trash. If we if chat, if we being honest, if we be <laughs> That was some of the worst things. Like everyone in his career, it was crazy. He had to come out with split the rebound off of that one. That was crazy. Imagine having one of the worst movies of all time underneath your belt. I me personally, I wouldn't let that happen. But I digress. So the show brothers came out and they dropped a bunch of stuff, a bunch of dumb quotes. And so one of my favorite things they dropped was this quote. And especially as the series went on, seasons two and three are a lot more mature in theme than, say, season one was. So for us, it was about striking that right balance of making sure you were true to the DNA of the original. But at the same time, we had to make it a serialized Netflix drama, which meant it couldn't just be for kids. It had to also appeal to the people who are big fans of Game of Thrones. And so I read that, I was like, excuse me? What do you mean by that? Because one, the greatest thing about Avatar The Last Airbender is it's a kid's show that handled very mature topics, right? And it's like, what do you mean you want to be Game of Thrones? What you, you want a red wedding? You want Aang to start slaughtering villages? I don't know what you want. Like, this is the, like, this is what I'm talking about. When you come out with dumb stuff like this, it's like, bro, why should I feel excited? For this show to come out when i know and i'm a big avatar the last Airbender fan okay i was in when when uh zuko went against um his sister in that fight at the end of the show had me i would look listen i was a little kid i was a little kid had me standing ten toes down okay i was i was standing like that you know that squidward meme with like he got an end one i was like mm, okay he stood on business okay he he didn't, he didn't need katara to help him okay he stood on business all right i needed that <laughs> <laughs> when he did the thing, when he sidestepped the blue, it was oh my god, the music. Oh, okay, okay, I'm, geek, I'm fanning out, I'm fanning out, I'm fanning out. They're gonna fuck this up. They're gonna mess it up. I'm sorry. They're gonna fuck it up. I'm, that, that's what our creators love. This is gonna be garbage, okay? Because Netflix don't know what they're doing. They always love taking these IPs and doing a little twist that is not needed. Just cop. This is all we're asking for. When you adapt an IP, just copy. Beat by beat. I don't give a damn what the fans say. Talking about, we don't want a beat by beat rendition. Yes, you do. Okay? Because when you step out of the box, someone's going to make a stupid decision. Okay? A dumb decision. They want to be like Game of Thrones. What does that even mean? What does that mean? And so they dropped another quote. Talking about how they're going to change Aang in Avatar. And how, like, he's not going to go on detours as much. He's going to go, like, on an adventure. Um, we're going to give him visions of what's going to happen. And... He'll say, I have to get, you see the quote, I have to get to blah, 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 to stop this from happening. The whole purpose of the show, the main plot point of Aang as a character was, he ran away, he disappeared because he wanted to be a kid, okay? He didn't want to be the Avatar with all this weight and pressure on his shoulder, okay? Then at the end of the show, he realized that he has to become that, okay? The detours add on to the character. You cutting out the entire thing of his character, it's like me saying, hey, that's like me saying, I'm gonna make a Superman adaptation, right? And in this version, 
Krypton doesn't get destroyed, and kal just wakes up with a vision to go to Earth and save the people. It's like, what are we doing here? It undercuts his entire character in that one change. He's a kid, of course he's going to venture out. What are we doing here? They're cutting that whole thing out because they want to be different. Why? That, that, that simply means that you didn't understand the show you were watching. If they even watch the show, because you know someone, they don't be watching the show. They just be yapping. If we being honest here, they be chatting sometimes. Like some of y'all in the comments who don't be watching my video just be commenting. I know who it is. I know who y'all. <laughs> like, like, if I'm being honest, I know who y'all are. Y'all like, be in here chatting, okay? Y'all be in here chatting, okay? Anyway, but. Another thing they said they're going to change is they're going to tone down the sexism of uh, mostly from Sokka, right? And also, if I butcher these names, I haven't watched the show in like years. But we, we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to chat about it. Wait, wait, wait. Because I, I think I said Katana earlier. I mean Katara. Y'all know what I meant. Y'all know what I meant, Chad. Hold on. Don't come after me. Don't go. I already know someone's in the comments typing, all right? I know it. But they're going to tone down the sexism of his character. And... Once again, they didn't understand what they were watching because the whole purpose of it of the sexism, right? I'm not saying sexism is good. If anyone sits here and say, "Oh my God, you, oh my God, you think sexism is good?" Like, bro, please, please go back to school. Please get educated on, you know, like understanding what people are saying. But the reason of the sexism is it help. It's the character. Like, he needs to get his ass whooped to understand. <laughs> That women can be stronger as men and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's the whole reason he meets Suki. Like his whole character arc was being egotistical, you know, insecure because, you know, he's trying to be over masculine and this and the third. And at least him getting his ass whooped, okay? And him learning that, hey, women are just as strong as men or even stronger under certain circumstances, right? The whole purpose or like um, Katara going to the water tribe in the the first season when she has to fight the water master because uh he wouldn't train her because she's a girl like these are important plot points in the show okay that like, you need to get how you gonna have to happen without sexism it's all right like it, it, these points need to happen so characters can have growth or characters can you know evolve and change like it's like changing the whole like premise of a story because we don't want to have sexism what are we doing here like it sexism and racism and all these other things can be used if it advances a character in a plot okay because you can't take these things out and still have the story be the same so let me get this straight you want to rewrite these entire segments to not have it but to have the characters learn these things that cannot be learned without it it's like what are we doing here it doesn't make any sense in netflix there look listen the fan base that you need to watch the show are the passionate fans that watch the cartoon okay nobody's from timbuktu going to say something like netflix is dropping avatar the last airbender I, got, I gotta check it out no one's doing that no one in bumfuck oklahoma no disrespect <laughs> no disrespect is gonna sit here and be like yo I don't know what Avatar The Last Airbender is, but Netflix produced it, so I, got, I gotta check it out. Like, no, you need the dedicated fan base to sit there and watch it, to get the, the views and to get the good word of mouth, and people will watch the show. Why the fuck do you think shows like Ted has a as an audience or went viral on social media? Not because they, you know, ruined anything or anything like that. It was just a genuinely good written show that was good with the families that enjoyed the movie. It's not coming to someone, yeah, you know, you know, Ted, he was a serial killer when he was a kid. And it's like, bro, what are we doing here? Why change something? Why do this? <laughs> you need to have a dedicated fan base to make other viewers go in. You know how many fans of shows were like, yo, or you sitting there at, uh, you know, you at work, you're sitting there by the water cooler, you sitting there talking about, yo, you got any shows I could recommend? Hey. Avatar Last Amber on Netflix got a gas. That's how you start it. Next, you know, they watching it. They telling they homeboy. They like, yo, Avatar Last Amber, this might sound weird. It's kind of heat, though. You know what I mean? They got the water going. That's how it starts, okay? Next, you know, you blowing up. Next, you know, you got everybody named mom watching it. You know what I mean? You can't have that if you're already disrespecting the main audience that's going to check this out day one. What, are you going to rely on the casuals that don't care about this product to actually watch it over and over again? I don't think so. So when this show comes out and it's inevitably bad, and it's um the fans are upset they're telling everybody not to watch it and this show bombs once again you're gonna cancel it and be like you know we tried but you know the viewership wasn't where we, where we wanted it and we're just sad that we're gonna have to cancel this at the one season it's gonna end on like a random cliffhanger for no reason because they changed the whole entire plot of the story and people are gonna be upset by it you know what i mean it's like bruh avoid the whole hassle by just following the creators this is what you do this is what you do it's so, super simple super simple have people watch the show and understand the show, sit with the creators and say, hey, 
we're going to sit down and make this live action beat by beat okay you might have to change some things or it's like oh you need cgi here this and there like oh, you know what i mean you, you get what i'm saying but things can be adjusted to live action by getting the point cards the perfect point i can make is like percy jackson right i read the first book i really enjoy the disney plus show the movies were good on their own but as an adaptation of the book it was horrible right so here's what you do just copy that where it got the point across it did a little bit of changes but it works and if you change something that has to pay off in the story so this is like minor spoilers for percy jackson it's not a big spoiler but the whole purpose of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief was they have to get the Master Bolt back to Zeus before the Summer Solstice, right? I think it's Summer Solstice. Winter or Summer Solstice, either or, right? In the book, they make it on time and they get it back just in the nick of time, right? In the show, um, Percy Jackson misses the date, right? But at the end of the show, it pays off big when something happens at the end, you know what I mean? So it's like, there is a reason why they changed it from the book to the show. They can do that in Avatar. If you want to change a character arc or a moment where they don't reach this thing or they don't do this in third, but it pays off in the show and it makes sense and it makes the story and the characters better, we wouldn't be upset by that. But you coming out and saying, we want to make a Game of Thrones or we want to cut out whole plot lines from the show because we don't want Avatar to do this in a third or act like a kid is the dumbest thing ever and this show is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching the show, all right? Don't expect the review from me, but y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Is this show dead on arrival? I'll be in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'm out of here. Peace.